Hello everyone. Welcome to the practice session. We already discussed exercise one and now we are discussing exercise two. In the previous session, we took an introduction of exercise two and we discussed step one. In step one, we tried to observe that there are two distinct realities. One is the self and the other is body. We have studied about this in the previous course and we talked about this in this course also. And now we are trying to understand this through direct observation. And we found out that I become aware of the presence of the self by observing my imagination, my activities. And I become aware of the presence of body through the sensation that I get from the body. When I'm not reading the sensation from the body, I'm even not aware that the body is there or not, isn't it? This is very interesting to observe. So having made out that there are two distinct realities, now we'll go further to study the interaction between the self and the body. So we'll discuss step two now. And as we can see that we are doing these exercises to develop ourselves. We also said that this is not the only way, but one way to become aware of the presence of self and the body and the interaction between the two and to study it. And in this process, we are able to develop our right understanding and we are also able to purify our sanskar, our accumulated assumptions, acceptances, isn't it? So we can have a look at all the seven steps that we are going to go through in this exercise. And we have discussed the step one. And we had seen that in step one, we are able to observe the two realities. So what we said that you have to observe that you are through your imagination and the body is there through your sensation and the self and the body are two distinct realities. Now in step two, we are trying to study the interaction between the self and the body. So try to see what is the interaction between me and the body. Is it exchange of information or exchange of some physiochemical things? What do you think? So you are interacting with the body. When you are listening to the lecture, there also you are interacting with the body. What I'm saying is reaching your ears through that gadget. And then from the ears, it is reaching you and you are getting that sensation. And this is an interaction. So when you are listening to the lecture now, you decided to turn the video on okay, and go through the lecture. And that was some instruction given by you to the body by which you could turn the video on. And now you are listening to the lecture. The sound is reaching your ears and then it is reaching you and you are getting the meaning of the lecture. So you'll see that you are interacting with the body, isn't it? And this keeps on happening throughout the day. You keep on giving instruction to the body and you keep on receiving sensation from the body. And just try to see whether is there any exchange of physiochemical things here? Isn't it? So there is no physiochemical thing being exchanged here. It is only exchange of information. So the instruction that you give to the body is an information. The sensation that you receive from the body is also an information. So I give instruction to the body. This is one thing to observe. And when I want to take some work from the body, I give it some instruction. Like get up, walk, sit down. So I do not keep on giving instruction to the body. I instruct the body when I have to take some work from the body. And this instruction is an information. Similarly, you can see that on the basis of events taking place in the body, sensations are taking place. And I read some of these sensations. I taste the sensation that I read. So you'll see that there are sensations taking place in the body. And when you observe, you'll see that there are sensations taking place in every part of the body. You might not be aware of that. So right from tip of the toe to the head, there are sensations in the body. When you consider that sensation important, you pay attention to it. You read that sensation. So presently you may feel like there is nothing happening in the toe of my leg. But when you start paying attention to the activities in the toe, you'll see that there are sensations there and you are able to read that sensation. A similar thing can be observed in any part of the body. So you read some of the sensations. You don't read all the sensations. Several sensations are reaching you and you read those sensations which you consider as important and then you taste the sensation. So if there is some pain in some part of the body and you consider it important to pay attention, you read that sensation, you taste that sensation. Now it is unpleasant to you, so you try to cure it. You try to get relief from that, isn't it? And you are receiving the sensation, you are tasting the sensation, and the sensation is again an information. 
So you'll see that the interaction between the self and the body is only in the form of information and not of any physiochemical things. Try to observe this. So when we are not aware of the presence of the self and we consider ourselves as body, we consider everything as material. So we may assume that whatever is being transacted between me and the body is also material. But when you observe it closely, you find that this is not material. This is something else. Okay. And it is only an information. So try to observe this interaction. Try to see how you instruct the body, how you receive the sensation from the body. And that this instruction as well as the sensation that you receive from the body is only in the form of information. And there is no material exchange here. So there's an assignment here. Observe that you give instruction to the body. When you want to take some work from the body, you give it some instruction like get up, walk, sit down. Now observe this throughout the day. So right from morning till the time that you go to bed. In the early morning, instruct the body to get up, get fresh, get ready for the college, you go to the college, do so many activities there, come back home or to the hostel. And you are interacting with the body. Right. And every time when you have to take some work from the body, you are instructing the body. Also try to observe whether this is happening by itself, like walking, getting up, sitting down. Is it happening by itself? Or every time you have a role to play, you are instructing the body. Similarly, you see that there are sensations in the body and you read those sensations. Right. And you read only some of the sensations. You do not read all the sensations. And then you taste whether pleasant or unpleasant whether it is making you happy or unhappy, right? So there's some taste associated with the sensation. So try to observe this part also and see if you can observe it throughout the day. So note down your observations in a journal several times in course of the day, say at least every four hours. And then try to see what is happening between you and the body. The good thing is that the more you become aware of the interaction in the self and the body, you become better aware of the presence of self in the body and you are able to see that there are two distinct realities so today we discussed step two of exercise two and we tried to observe the interaction between the self and the body so you'll see that you keep on giving instruction to the body as per the need and you keep on reading sensation from the body here again as per the need when you consider it important and there's only exchange of information between you and the body and not of any material thing so try to observe this for the whole week and in the next week we'll discuss step three. Thank you.